Hello, all my Sagittarius friends, and thank you for joining me. My name is Indigo, and thank you for coming to Indigo Goddess 1111. I've been off for a couple weeks, um, not by my choice, but due to illness. Um, so you'll have to forgive me for my sniffles. Sometimes I lose my voice, so if I do, I will um, have to pause the video and come back. So um, I do apologize. So... I'm going to do a new spread today with the new year, um, and you'll kind of see how it goes as I go. So, Spirit and Angels, what messages do you have for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? In general, what messages do they need to know? Do they get to know? Do you want them to know? Oops. For the week of January 4th through the 11th, 2018. Let's see what we got here. Okay, we got a couple extra here. Spirits tell me to take them all, though, so we're going to take them all. Okay. Sorry, I'm just trying to get all the messages here. Hmm. Okay. Well, the first card that we have here, this is... um your work card. So the Knight of Wands in reverse. So you could have been, um, you could have been waiting on to hear about a new job. Um, I get some of you are unemployed, you're looking for work and you put out applications that you were really excited about and you haven't heard back from them yet. Um, Spirit is saying to give it time, and if it's been more than two weeks, to call and check on your uh, your resume. See if they've had time to look at it. Um, excuse me, I gotta shut the door on my. I apologize. I got my EMT scanner going. So, um, where was I? Okay, your home card is the King of Cups. So, very happy on the home front. Um, you could be, for a group of you, I see that you have met somebody that you feel could um, complete your family. Um, for a group of you, you may have children, like you're a single mother or a single father, and, and you found somebody that is going to intertwine in your in your family this is like the best spread i've seen in a long time sagittarius thank goodness huh so the the next card is the unexpected so this um card indicates like surprises or unexpected events in your life that you didn't see coming so um, the unexpected is the six of cups in reverse. So you could be dealing with something from your childhood. Someone from your past could be coming back to kind of shake things up. Could be a past lover, uh, past, you know, an old friend, but someone is going to return this week for you, Sagittarius, and it might shake things up a little bit. Um, the fourth card is your role in this and you are the 10 of cups. So you are just, you're running on all cylinders. You are, your emotions are in check. You are full of love and, and you're spending time with family. You are feeling fulfilled in every, in every part of your home life, your work life. For a group of you, there are some looking for work, but I'll, I'll see where that, um, 
where that's going. But other than that, it is so beautiful. There's so much emotion, so much love in this spread. Um, and it, uh, and it spills into every aspect of your life. The outcome of this is the queen of cups. So in your home, you have the king of cups and in your outcome, you have the queen of cups. You met somebody that you equally vibrate with. You met somebody that can meet your match. They put in what you put in and it could be somebody that you've dated in the past, but it doesn't have to be. But, um, this is just being happy in every area of your life. Like you just can't imagine things getting better. Okay. You got the four of, uh, swords and these are just spirit is telling me extra messages that are separate from your spread. So he wants me to wait on those. So I'm going to go ahead and clarify these a little further. I think I'll use the vice versa deck. Spirit, ooh, not ready yet. <laughs> Spirit and angels, can I get a clarifying card for this Knight of Wands in reverse? What's going on with Sagittarius and their work? What do they need to know in their area of work? All right, two major arcana. You got justice and you got the chariot. So you could be dealing with a Libra. Um, they could be giving you troubles at work or you could be moving on. You're, you're moving on from a job. That's what this is. Okay, you are moving. You have decided to leave the company you're with because you didn't feel that you were treated fairly. And yeah, you just didn't feel, you're just, you weren't as passionate as you w once were, but, um, spirit is encouraging you to think about either a starting your own company, um, in the service field or b writing a book. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's what spirit is saying. For that special group of you, consider um, yeah, consider opening your own business or writing a book. Spirit, can I get a clarifying card on the King of Cups, please? Why do we have these King, this King of Cups here in our home area? Oops. Aww. We have the Empress and the Ten of Cups. Look at that. So this is... Uh, for those of you, um, I'm sorry if this ain't going to resonate with everybody, but this is for a single mother who has found somebody, a male, to fill her cups, and he filled all ten of them. How beautiful. That's what you got coming towards you, Sagittarius, this week. Can I get a clarifying card for the six of cups here in reverse? Too many spirit. Can I get one, please? One clarifying card for the six of cups. Thank you. The nine of pentacles in reverse. So you're coming out of being single, and it's with somebody that you've already dated before. You have been with this person before, and they are going to be your king of cups. I didn't intend this to be a love reading, but that's certainly what it's turning into. Um... Just because it's affect, it's making you so happy, it's affecting every area of your life in a positive direction, and that's really exciting. Okay, Spirit, can I get a clarifying card on the Ten of Cups here, please? Or the Ten of, yeah, Ten of Cups. Okay. You could have met this person during the last moon cycle. Um, but at that time you were not ready for a relationship because you were still mourning the loss of what you have been going through. You've been going through a hard time, Sagittarius. My goodness. And get a clarifying card for the queen of cups. Yeah. I'm spirit is saying that for this group of you, you have, you have been through it all and you, <clears throat> you're starting to find balance within yourself. Um, you're starting to heal. No, oh, not that one. Um, that one wanted to come out. 
we got the king of wands. So this person brings out a whole new fire in you. Um, he's passionate. He is, uh, he just, he thinks the world of you. He wants you to be his queen. And look at that. Need I say more? Your whole life is, um, on the upswing Sagittarius and my God, do you deserve it? Some of you have been through the ringer. Um, some of you are going through the twin flame, uh, journey right now. And it's just, it's, it's not one of an easy feat. Um, Spirit is saying these are extra messages. He wants to pull one clarifying card for each. Um, and there's the three. That was nice and quick and easy. Okay. So, the Knight of Pentacles is being clarified by the, uh, the High Priestess. So... There could be an earth sign coming your way. This could be your king of cups. Um, but it's a slow moving energy. And when the, uh, when the high priestess, when she's got her back to the, to us like this, cause here's the front side. And then on the vice versa deck, um, you see the backside. So th what this is saying is you have passed through a challenging, challenging time in your life. Um, you have gone through the hardest task and have been just challenged to the utmost that you now belong on this throne. You now belong in the inner temple. Um, so take some time to reflect because you've recently learned something about this earth sign. So if you have any fear whatsoever about being with this person, I'm actually getting, this is a different group than this, than this last one. So, um, this is, this is for a different group of Sagittarius. If you have any fear, don't rush into anything, sit with it until it dissolves away. Um, the two keys of knowledge that that you now possess um the knowledge that you've gained it's going to carry you through so you have the gold key of worldly matters you know and then i don't know if you can see this the gold key is right there you have the gold key of worldly matters and the silver key of mystical matters. So you have proven yourself worthy. Um, for those of you who um, like read cards, uh, are psychic, um, that's this is message is for you because you know you can't read your own energy, you can't read your own cards, um, you cannot do a tarot reading for yourself. So this message is for those of you. Um, who have been unsure and fearful of committing to an earth sign. They are coming back to you. They are coming to you, but they're moving slow. And spirit is just saying, you got this. You know your instincts. You know your intuition is on point. So uh, so go with it. But this is going to, um, it's going to spark a new fire in you in so many different levels. Not just passionately in love, but um, in business, in life and family, everything. You are just going to have a whole new outlook after you make the choice. And I do see you making it this week, Sagittarius. And how exciting is that? Because after a time of rest and rejuvenation, you are going to set out on a new adventure with this person, with this earth sign. And, um, and it's going to be exciting because you don't, you haven't been letting yourself, uh, feel too much rather than doing what seems reasonable, logical, safe, you know, you are going to, you're just going to finally take that leap of faith that everybody's been telling you to have, you know, keep the faith, um, manifestation, you know, all that he, <clears throat> he is, He is going to shed some light on some things in life that you never have seen 
like that before. He is going to... He's going to start... Or not he. You two are going to start a business together. Um, something with the, in the spiritual field. Um, holistic, maybe. But you guys have a new adventure coming. So congratulations for those Sagittarius, for who that's for. Um, how exciting. Um... Hold on one second. Spirit is has some a couple messages. Um, okay, for the there's a group of you Sagittarius who have been dealing with your twin flame. Um, you are technically in separation because they are still with a karmic partner. And spirit is saying um, February to March. End of February, beginning of March. I don't know. Somebody must have been. I just channeled somebody's direct message. Somebody wanted to know when their twin flame was coming back. Um yeah, for a group of you, that's end of February, beginning of March. That is Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Um, coupled with a Virgo. So if you are Sagittarius, coupled with a Virgo, who is still in a karmic relationship, that message is for you. They will be back the end of February, beginning of March. And they're going to come back in the most unexpected, surprising way. And you're going to love it. Okay, so single Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do they, what do they have in store this week, Spirit? Eight of Pentacles. So somebody is making the effort to get you back. The Ten of Swords is in reverse. So you have um, officially hit the worst possible um, stage that you could. So this is almost over. Thank goodness. We want to see that card in reverse if we see it at all. And somebody is now putting in the work. Um, they they realize the mistake they made, Sagittarius. Um, Queen of Wands is in reverse with the King of Wands in reverse. And you're going to tell them, sorry, bye-bye. I love you still, but it's time for me to move on. The hurt, yeah, the devil's in reverse, so... And the stars in reverse. So, yeah, Sagittarius, keep on moving. Look at that. Um, yeah. This is no longer serving you. Um, it could be with an earth sign. And it's going to be... This could have been a very rough breakup. A hair font. So, yeah, um, that's for you Sagittarius who are uh, separated from a spouse right now. That was a group of you. For a different group of you, you just left a partner, and um, they are trying to win you back, but I don't see you going back this week. Sagittarius uh, exclusively dating and married couples. What do they got going on this week? Spirit for January. The wheel. So, things are changing. People are moving around. Um, relationships are ending. People or new relationships are beginning. Uh, Ten of Swords. Ouch. This one is ending. Um, you got the Ten of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. <clears throat> Clarifying the wheel. So, um, yeah, this is kind of a cut and dry one. <laughs> Ten of Swords. So, um, you are Sagittarius have been betrayed. Your partner is in that window right there with somebody else. And you are at, you are at the end of your rope. You are emotionally, um, spent. You are done. The nine of swords, you are going to not let this be in your head any longer. Um, and you are leaving with the five of pentacles. You are going to let them have whatever they want. Um, the lovers here is a choice, a choice between two people. Um, and you are choosing to leave because 
you are going to find out information that makes you sick. Makes you... Yeah, but that's okay because this is a karmic partner. The world, this is what is meant to happen. The world is um, completing temperance. That's your card here in the Nine of Pentacles. So, yeah, this is a karmic partner, Sagittarius. Um, it's going to be hard, but let it end. Bigger and better things are coming for you. Um, there is a group of you, Sagittarius couples out there who are doing just fine. Um, there could be a third party lurker, but no sexual contact has been made. So just keep an eye out for that. I do not see that third party um, getting into the relationship, though. I see your you or your spouse is going to um, not allow that to happen. So that's awesome for that group of you. Um, for the rest of you, um, things are changing up. Uh, the next month or so is going to be uh, craziness for um, for karmic relationships ending and twin flame unions beginning. And as hard as it is to let that person go, um, spirit is encouraging you to release your exes so you can move forward and they can as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this message. Thank you for all your likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. I appreciate you all without you. I would not be here. So sending you all the love and the light. God bless. And we'll see you next time.